Paul Washer, recall a story from Peru. I'd like you to consider something as you hear Paul Washer respond basically to being abducted. Got a question for you. Listen to Paul Washer, what he said to a fellow who appeared to have some nefarious intent, what he said to him. I was like, I got to tell you, Paul, I don't think that's what would have crossed my mind. One time in Peru, some of the police there at that time were very corrupt and very dangerous. Yeah. So I went to a place to buy some Bibles. And when I came out, there was a policeman waiting there. He said that my car was illegal, and it was not. He accused me of many things. And then he told me to get in my car, and he got in the car. He's screaming at me, and he told me to drive. Now, I knew that I was in a very dangerous situation What's your dog? because he called some of his, uh, the other policemen to meet us in a certain place. And I thought, they will beat me up and steal the car. Uh, he made me drive around, and I was just praying, and the Lord gave me peace. And then as he was screaming at me, he said, stop the car, get out. So I thought, well, maybe he's just going to steal my car. But then he got out and he got in my face like this. He said, why are you so calm? Why don't you say anything? And I said, because I'm very afraid. And he goes, ah, you should be. And I said, no, no. I said, I'm afraid for you. And he said, why? I said, well, because in any minute now you're going to die. He said, what? I said, yes, you're going to die. And then you're going to go to hell. He said, why do you say that? And I said, because the Bible says, he who blesses me, God will bless. And he who curses me, God will curse. You are under a curse right now because you want to hurt me. God is going to kill you and throw you in hell. I don't know why I said all that. I guess it was the Holy Spirit. Anyways, he started shaking. He started crying, threw my documents back at me. And he said, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Pray for me. And then, I took out a little revenge on him. He said, pray for me. And I said, well, I'll try, but I don't think it'll do any good. He said, what do you mean? I said, God really is mad at you. And there's nothing I can do. He's going to kill you. He said, pray for me, pray for me. And so I put my hands on him and I said, oh Lord, this man is wicked and you should kill him and send him to hell right now. And the policeman opened up his eyes, looked at me. He said, don't pray like that. <laughs> but then I said, you are merciful. And then I preached the gospel and I asked God to save him. He asked me for my phone number. Two other times he called my house and he said, preacher, are you still praying for me so God doesn't kill me? And I said, yes. Mm. The only reason that I can imagine that Paul was more concerned about the officer's eternity than his own physical well-being is because he's just got to be more heavenly minded than I am.